inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome here in New Orleans. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New Orleans Saints. Two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. Good run there to start the drive. 13 yards, first down. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Second and nine now. It's caught by Sanders. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so, and gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it, and really gets them amped up as they go forward. King now. On first down, and complete to Zach Ertz. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. It's a second down run with Sanders. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. They'll run. It's Sanders. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but now it'll be third down. It went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Operating from the gun. King. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage. He was draped all over it. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. 
he was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. What tight end? Small. Three down, three down. My two. Watch two. Defense. Now Hill. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Hey, hey, Wood. Play action. It's Hill. Escaping the pressure right. He wants it all for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now King on first and 10. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly for six. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10-0. Joseph now to kick this one away. This will be taken short. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The 
the Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get them down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. All day, defense, all day, all day. 80 weapons. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there. Second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. They'll run on first down. Benjamin, and some room to maneuver. 30, 10, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New down here of the new campaign as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Lutz with the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Check 50, check 50. On second down now, it's Sanders, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Check 26, check 26, check 13, check 13. Looking to throw, King. And that will be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They begin on the ground with Kamara. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Hill. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing, 
often alters the normal spacing and run fit and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Check 99. Check 99. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. I'm going to hit you all a game of a yard on the play. Brings up third and four. Ready, set. Hey, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hey, team six. Team six. Two. Watch two. Watch two. Are you getting ahead? Are you getting ahead? From the gun on third, Hill. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. On fourth down, Hill. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it, go play action and take your shot at the end zone. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. On third down, here's Camaro. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. We've seen this offense go for it on fourth down already on this drive. I wonder if they'll go for it again. We certainly wouldn't rule it out with these guys. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, and no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. First down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now this time he'll look to throw, and that's going to be incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time, and it's third down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. throw on third down and that is incomplete Eli Apple good to the core there as he gets in and knocks it away problems on third down so far in this first half relatively small sample size but they're now 0 for 3 and the average in the league somewhere around 40 percent on third down for offenses so what's the answer to this either convert them 
or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not Come easily on, done. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now the second down throw on target. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. They'll run. This is Kamara. Kamara's got the first down and then some. And down to the 16-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. On first down, Benjamin. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Slam, slam, slam. Check 26. Hey! Now Jones. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The kick by Lutz is good and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. You're down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. Second and six. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. Seven yards there and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've hit half 
time. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Go, that first go. down completion Nine, only netted him three. Second and seven. Right check four, check four. Kill, 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 kill. Go. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. A shotgun snap for Hill. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 41-yard line. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down. Spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Kamara. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. At the 39 yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Hey, Wahoo! Watch eight nine. Watch eight nine. He's yours. We ain't giving him nothing to fight. To throw is Hill. He's gonna let this go. Back of the end zone, and he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jay season, and the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lutz good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This one taken from the 7. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Second down and inches. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to them. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. 
Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Here's King throwing on first down. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. A very good gain on first down. Nine yards on the dump off. Second and one. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number, not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense, they spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. To throw his king from the gun on third down. Got a man. He finds Sanders. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. This quarterback now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. King now from the gun. He'll throw. That's caught by Jackson. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Sanders, and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point right down the middle. And that will shave one more off this lead. Joseph now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Hey, exit. Get that ball. Get that. Ready, ready. 
third and two. Hill. Open man is Michael Thomas. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick load completion. Got the job done for a first down. A tenth carry for Kamara. He's got the first down and more past midfield. The 30, 10, touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Lutz now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eli Apple up from his corner spot to make the play. Second and six at the 33-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw. King. And Sanders has got it complete. It'll be a two-yard game, and that's going to bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. The Eagles on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time, it's third and three. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. A gain of 11 on the play. And an Eagles first down. Now King on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week when he was over 70%. Right now, he's under 50%. Well, that comes from extra game film, extra time. You know those guys watched him all week, saw how precise he was, and constructed a defense to try and chip away at that, and thus far they've been successful. Now this throw caught left side, and this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 37. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And some room to run now. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Lutz with the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. 
but they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 33 yards that time. From the gun, King dancing to his left. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. King going to throw again. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Eli Harrell, what a play by him. That's a loss of 17. Here's King throwing on third and long. He sets to fire deep. And unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. <laughs> to throw is King. Throwing on fourth down. Buying time to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. A boost here to start the drive after the penalty. It's first and five. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Tackle that time by Sidney Jones. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Brings up third and one. Ready up. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two minute warning. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Look at me. Zipper. Hey, Charlie. It's just me and you. No, no, no. Check that. Check that. We want Mike 52 right here. So here we go on fourth. Hill. It's caught. Nelson. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to, says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees, 
And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. Now they go screen. It's complete. Yeah, that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your... Got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas. His third touchdown now on the year. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. That's complete to his tight end of the end zone. 